Hi, my name is Taisha Harrison and I am an artist here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, what we're going to create is superheroes. But before we get to that, I want to show you what materials is needed for this project. I hope you enjoy. Wow, look at all of these beautiful materials that we're going to be using in our painting today. <laughs> so before we start the list of items that I will be using for this painting today, I just also want to note that if you do not have these items, you're more than welcome to use other mediums and materials as well to complete and to participate in this painting. So first off, I would like to discuss about the brushes. I have the flat brush. A round brush that I will be using and then smaller detail brushes such as this one for like the details around the buildings or around the face. So these are a couple items that if you have them around your house, great or if you have any materials that mimic a brush that is flat or round or small in detail, um, you can also use markers, you can use crayons, you can use pens and pencils. That's totally fine as well. Um, you can purchase these items if you wish at Michael's or your local art store. Um, I also have paint here in blue, yellow, black, white, and let's see here, blue, yellow, black, white, and red. So um, acrylic paint dries really fast, um, but I love this medium while creating art because I get that quick result, but we also have to work a little bit faster so that way the paint does not dry. I also have spray bottle just to keep the paint wet, um, wet enough for us to work through the details. I also have a water bucket that's for dipping our brushes in it and then um, applying the acrylic paint. I have here a source. This is what we will be creating today. <laughs> Superwoman or Supergirl and Batboy or Batman. I also have here a palette. If you not have a palette, you can also use a paper plate. That's really easy um, to use. So you can pour your paint in there. Um, you don't have to use all the colors that I listed here. You can use other colors. You can be creative with it. So if you have pink, if you have light blue, that's totally fine. If you wanna use brown or purple, that is totally up to you. You are the artist today. I have Mod Podge. You can also use glue. Because I'm not sure if you've seen this. My head is right here. So what we're gonna do is at the end of our painting, we are going to cut out our face and then plaster it on the body. So it looks like this. So uh, if you have a printer, choose a photo of a head so that way at the end, you can cut it out and you can paste it onto there. And what I like to call that is mixed media because we're using different mediums. We're using acrylic and we're also using collaging. What's next? Um, I have paper towels. Paper towels help me tremendously because it helps me clean off my brush. It helps me clean up messes. So they are a big help. And it also adds texture to the painting as well. And last but not least, we have a canvas. This size is a size 16 by 20. All right, so I'm going to welcome you to my studio. 
Welcome to my studio. For the next 30 minutes, I will be going through the different steps of the process of creating the superhero. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So I have here my round brush. I just put some water on it. And what we're gonna do is mix the blue and the white. We're gonna start off with the sky. The sky. This blue color, feel free to use your water bottle. Just a couple of squirts will help. Fine art. You'll see a lot of edginess and bold. I love these drips in my paintings because it adds texture. You see that? So we have these, and what you can do is if you like, you can add texture to it. So if you have a paper towel, not sure if you can see this, while the paint is still wet, it can create these texture components in your painting. You see that? So we'll allow this to dry for a couple of minutes. and I will describe, so that was easy peasy. So this is the painting. This one has just a plain face. This other one over here has my head on it. <laughs> but this is what we're creating today. So I hope you can see that. There we go. So our next step is that we're gonna be creating these buildings. It doesn't have to exactly look like that. And I know it's a little bit tough to see, but it's black and then it gets to a lighter gray. And then the bottom half is a much lighter gray. So it has a gradient and that's what we're gonna do. Make sure that you're, once you're done with your paintbrushes, you place them in the bucket so that way it doesn't ruin your, your brushes, the acrylic paint. So I have over here on my palette, I have black, and then I'm also going to place white on here as well. But if you have any other colors that you would like to use, that is perfectly fine. You can use any color that you wish. I'm using black to build the paint or the buildings. So I use the square brush because it mimics the shapes of buildings. And I like to think of it as different shapes. So you see right here, there are rectangles. So you can create a rectangle, leave some space in the middle so that way it can show the background, which is this sky right here. And that could be your windows. So you can just place the paint here, different areas. Make sure you dab your paint brushes in water so that way the paint don't dry as quickly. So we're just gonna create whatever looks right to you. If you want your buildings higher, you can place them higher over here. You 
you want them lower, feel free. I'm just making squares to represent my building. You can do different shapes. You can do a triangle if you wish. Where is your city? Are you drawing cityscape in Phoenix, Arizona? Or are you drawing New York? Where would you like to visit? I love painting. It's my favorite thing to do. Favorite way to express myself. Okay, so you see here I have, let me push that over here. I have different shaped buildings. I have some windows. And they're all in black. Because this is the furthest First, for this layer, it will be the darkest because it goes dark to light as it comes closer to you. Alrighty, how are we looking? Okay. Okay. So now that we have the darker ones. I think the background is dry. Perfect. It's close to dry. I'm going to add a little white to my black to give me a gray color. So now I'm going to start in the middle of the canvas. make that a little bit brighter. Not sure if you can see that. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to add a building here, more of a square. And then I want to add another building up here. And this is in gray. So I mix black and white gave me gray. And what we're going to do next once we're done with these layers is create another layer, but it's going to be much more lighter gray to give us that depth of build. All right, so I'll allow my building right here. And if you don't have windows now, you can always add them later. That's totally fine. We can use white paint. I'm going to use a little bit more. And remember to continue putting your brush in the water to thin out your paint. Beautiful. Okay. So you see this area right here? Now, if you like, you can make trees. So if you have green paint or if you have markers, you can make trees right here. You can also do a lake, you know, um, a lake right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create more buildings. I just love buildings. I was just, I'm a city girl, so I love buildings. Buildings are my favorite. But you're free to do anything. If you wanna make butterflies, whatever it is, it is your art piece. And you're more than welcome to do anything that you wish to do. Okay, so I'm gonna add more white to the
the black and white mix that I created so that way it can be much lighter. Yes, beautiful. So this is the brightest gray. I'm gonna add a little bit more white so that way you can see the difference here. So it's close to white on the canvas as well. Okay, let's see about that. All right, I think I like it. Add some drips. So we are just making squares and rectangles to create our, our, our buildings. And what we create is our masterpiece. So if you want to make triangles, that's totally fine. You want to make different other shapes as well, circles, please do so. If that's how your building looks, that is the art. That is the eye of the artist. Yes. Okay. So I want to show you. You see the gradient? So it goes lighter, darker, and then dark, and then the blue sky. Alrighty. So this is almost dry. Isn't that beautiful? Yay! So we have here the lighter is here. We have a darker, a darker color back here, and then we have black right here. I am going to use a small brush now. For details. So I just want to show you I use a big brush in the beginning. For my buildings, I use more of a square brush. And now for more details, I am going to use a smaller brush. Now I'm going to put more black paint and more white paint onto my palette. Now, since you are the artist, you can be the person to say, okay, this is all that I like want. It doesn't have to be too detailed, but I would like to add a little bit more windows, more windows to my building. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You see, I'm just adding and it doesn't have to be perfect. We have long windows. I'm gonna use this in white. You can do long windows if you wish. I'm just adding texture basically. Awesome. I love it when artwork is different. And if you don't like it, you can feel free to add paint on top of it. That's totally fine if you don't like it. If you mess up and you're like, I just don't like it. It's totally fine. You can do this. So that's just a prime example. That there's no rules. You can just do that. 
Cool. Yay. All right. Now on to our superhero. First, I will show you how to create Batgirl or Supergirl, sorry. First, we are going to learn how to create Supergirl. And then we're going to do Batboy Batman. So I added red, yellow, I'm sorry, red, blue, <laughs> blue paint. and yellow. With this, we are going to use, well, I'm going to use a smaller brush. So I have red paint. We're gonna create her foot. I would recommend that you allow the paint to dry before starting. So you can wait five, 10 minutes, pause the video, and then start painting again. So we have her legs, and what I'm doing is so I created her foot. It's more like, like a triangle, right? And then you create the little loop over here. And then her legs. Like she's gonna be super tall. She has a skirt. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this on pause. So what I did was I have more of the smaller brush because we are about to paint our superheroes. Okay. So I like to start with the feet, then lead up all the way up to the head. So, the first foot is more slanted. And I look at my source, so if it's easy for you, you can print out this and copy exactly how it is. Since this is basically in 2D, it's not, um, I try to choose something that would be So right now we are going to draw the foot. It's slanted. Right here. So if it's easy, 
you can print off this and then copy exactly what you see. So that's her feet or her foot. Then her legs. This is the back of her foot. Calves. Calf. Make sure your paint brushes are damp. So now you see this is kind of like a long rectangle but a few places are a little bit different then we have the skirt top of the skirt. See how that looks? So right now I'm right here. So I drew her foot. We will go in and paint in her stockings or her underpants. We will go back in and paint the details of her leg and her skirt. We are going to draw the other. Do the exact same thing, kind of mimic it, look at your source. It's a great guide for you in creating your, your masterpiece. Okay. So then we have Make sure my paintbrush is, paintbrush is wet. We have her belt that we will soon paint yellow. And now for her body. So if you see here, started off with her foot. I just want to take a quick second to go over it. Started off with her foot. It's kind of rounded here, goes up, her calf, then her part of her leg, then I did the other side. I created a skirt, so you can create it more like a, a rectangle of some sort, and then have this triangle right here, and then another triangle for her belt, so it looks like this. This is starting her body arms here perfect how are you doing i hope you're doing well we have different angles and we're just doing sharp lines and we're just tracing out her body right now. So this is her neck. Then we're going to do the other side pretty much the similar way. Get more paint. So it's more of an L. Go straight down. She has her hand on her hip, like that. Awesome. 
nossa. Now this is where the head is going to be. You take a look at your paintings, your painting, and you see where you need to make correction. So I see that her arm over here is a lot closer than this arm. So what I'm thinking about doing is adding more red to come out here. I would recommend that you move her over just a tad bit over so that way we can fully see her cape. But we will still make this work. Her cape is coming over here. Awesome. So we will also fill this in as well. Wherever it's red, for her upper body, which is actually blue, is that we're going to go back and outline her in black so we don't get confused. cape as well. Make sure it's aligned. More water. And then we have this little piece right here. Okay. So we have her cape going like this. So her cape is right here, it's folded. We're gonna add black lines so you can see dimension. We're also gonna add red right here as well. All right, let's add black. So there's the outline. And if you want to start with black, that is totally fine. So we are going to outline her shoes. So we can tell 
going to come to life, I promise. Her belt. And remember, we created the hand right here. So let's go ahead and add that as well. So all we're doing is just tracing what we just went through. If you would like to start with black, it's totally fine. Okay. Now for the cape, we are going to add a line here. Across here. Make sure we leave space open for the middle. Because so that's where we're going to put the logo. It's right there in the middle. Kind of looks like. So make sure you dry off your paintbrushes with a paper towel so the colors don't mix. But if you want it to mix, that's totally fine. We are going to paint in this area yellow. basically it's going to form an S. So I'm just, it's called blocking it in because we're going to block it in with red. So I'm just blocking in the yellow parts, drying off my paintbrush. Now I'm going in with red. Make 
sure you make your S, then any spots that you left out, like this area, make sure you cover it in. So now it's like this. Awesome. Now I'm going to go in with the red and color in her skirt. And then we're going to color in her, her pants. And her boot. So I'm using red. To color that in. How is it looking? Beautiful. We're going to do the other leg and then we're going to go to Batman. I know we are about 45 minutes into the video. Remember, once this is dry, you're just going to paste your face here. Okay. Okay, so okay, now we're going to get started on Batman. Okay, now we're gonna get started on Batman. So what I did was I added a little marks on her skirt and then I outlined this section where it met, her pants met her boots. So I have black right here. I outlined it, her whole body with black paint. This is blue right here, and then we created the superhero symbol in the middle. Now we're gonna get started on Batman. I'm gonna start off with black. So I'm creating just a shape of his boot. Sharp lines. Okay. 
So Batman. This is his leg. We're going to do the exact same thing for his his second leg. His boot. This time his foot is going the opposite direction. Okay, so now we have his leg. I'm going to paint his middle section. And then he has a belt. His body goes somewhere else. His hands seem like it's right behind him. Okay. So his hand is also on his hip as well. I want to bring down the belt to right here so we can do that. Then his leg, how is that looking? Okay. So his body goes out a little bit. For his muscles. And then we're going to create his shoulder. Similar to how Superwoman is. I like to call Superwoman. I think it's Superwoman or Supergirl. But to me, she's Superwoman. So we're going to do Superwoman here. And then his other arm. Sometimes our paintings are not going to look like them at first. But we just need to be patient. There we go. Okay. So I made a little correction. So right here, his body was coming out too much which conflicted with the arm now there's two ways you can fix it you can go way out here with the arms that's totally fine because we're going to be painting them in but i wanted him a little bit more in so that's why i created this and then We are going to add a little white to our black. This will give us a gray color, of course. And 
make sure it's mixed well. Okay. So we're going to color this in. Make sure you do not paint over the black area. If you do, that's totally fine. I guess we can go back and outline him again. We're going to color in his legs. His legs are like a bluish gray tint, but I'm going to color mine gray. His boots are going to be black. Grab some more paint. So the middle section right here is also gray. Remember that building? It's okay. So this is a lot closer to us. That's why you see us instead of the building behind us, but that's totally fine. And we're also going to color in his arms. Yes, like this. There's his arms. Make sure our paintbrushes is wet. We're going to do the other arm. All right. Right in the middle of his chest will be the symbol. black down now. With the black, we're going to paint his boots. So he has some black boots on. So we're going to color that in. Not color, I guess paint that in. other boot. Normally what I like to do is paint with music. That helps me focus on painting and just being in tune. So I normally don't talk during during painting, but this is a special occasion because I have tons of superheroes watching. So we are going to paint the middle of his body black. What we're going to do is, there's a belt right here. So let's go ahead and grab yellow. Make sure, since you just had black on there, that this is all rinsed and dried off. We're going to add our yellow in the middle and then also as his symbol in the middle of his chest. So we're creating this section Oops. right here. His belt, and then we're going to create the bat symbol. So since we already have yellow on our tiny brush, we're going to do that as well and just make a oval shape. Woo! 
Yes. Okay, that's looking great. Now we're gonna rinse off our brush. We're gonna use the same brush. And we're going to dip it in black now. He has a couple of details on his belt so we can make some lines in here. Belts. Awesome, great. Perfect. So, make some designs and then we're going to do the bat symbol. Bat symbol in the middle. So I made a line here. I made a line here for the wings of the bat. That a little bit darker. You see that? Okay. From there, I'm just going to add a line here and we're going to add lines there. Pretty soon, this will look like a bat. And make that darker. And then I'm going to attach this other wing right here. Starting to look like it. Right there. So you just keep working on the bat symbol. Just make lines there. Line here. Line there. There's the tail. This is the top. It kind of looks like it. How about that? I think that's great. And add a black line around it. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to continue adding, finish coloring him in right here with gray. And then we are going to find his cape. We're going to paint his cape. Okay. So I grabbed the blue. And with the blue, we are going to start outlining his cape. Perfect. I'm going to add more blue. The other one started to dry. And then I'm going to squirt it with water. Okay. So we're going to color it in. Perfect. So I outlined where I wanted his cape to be. And I just basically made a line, a line across, and then a line right here. And then I'm coloring it in, making sure there's water on my paintbrush because it's a lot easier. Paint here. We're going to paint right next to his arm right here. And right here. 
perfect. Because when he has his arm on his hips, his cape is showing right through. Perfect. Now we also want to make sure that it's up here as well on his shoulder. So we're going to just do a line here and a line here. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you are liking your art piece. I grabbed black because I want to do outline. I see here, just outline where there are missing parts and components. Outline right here. His cape. And then just to make this look a little bit more realistic. I added a black line there and then I'm just going to follow it along like that. So this is our Batman. And we cannot miss the top. So you're going to put your face right here. But we cannot forget about this. So now I'm going to show you, oh, we're going to ask, add a few more details, his muscles, so we're adding this line here, he has a six pack, so I just made this. Off to the side. Ooh, cool. Matt. All right. Let's see here. So we have this. You see? Awesome. Okay, so you can use Mod Podge, you can use glue. We are going to now place the final touch. I have a photo of me from the head and I'm going to place it right here. So again, you can use glue, you can use Mod Podge, and you're just going to paste it right here. Now you have a mixed media piece. Yay! Super cool. So a couple other things that you could do if you want, you can add a sun um, in the corner. You can make you can make clouds if it's a cloudy day. Um, 
So it's, it's totally up to you on what you would like to do, but this is your superhero. And thank you so much for watching and tuning in with me. I had tons of fun creating superheroes with you today. Have a great day. Bye. One more thing before I end this session, it's your signature. Make sure that you sign your artwork, either on the left or the right side of the canvas. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. My name is Taisha Harrison with I Am Undefined Art. You can find me at www.iamundefinedart.com.